50 GS 2023 Trophy Edition. This is a bad little bike. 95 horsepower, about 100 pounds lighter than a GS Adventure. We're going to try and get this bike as light as possible. You have Remus Resonator Delete, which is going to cut a bunch of weight. Aero Headers. Get rid of the catalytic converter. That's going to cut a bunch of weight. Acropovic exhaust, uh, slip-on exhaust. So three different brands. Hopefully that all works out. Dana, clear water, headlights here, fog lights. Those are going to go on your Toreg crash bars, upper and lower crash bars. We're going to try and turn this 850 GS into the lightest, most powerful, Adventure Ready BMW GS. With this exhaust delete here, probably gonna save, hopefully, the same amount of weight that we put on the bike. 2023 850 GS. We're gonna do the 600 mile service, lube up the chain, tighten the chain, change the oil engine, oil filter as well. Down below, you have your aero exhaust, Going to delete the catalytic converter remus mid pipe there delete that sound resonator box in your acropovic exhaust the only exhaust that bmw puts on their bikes in the showroom and the new 900 gs 2024 will have an acropovic exhaust standard so here we go we're probably going to work that way taking it off and that way Putting it on. I wanted to get a video of the stock exhaust before we did anything. The motor is pretty cold, so this is going to be as close to a cold start as you're going to get. Well, I personally think this is the best sounding BMW stock. I really can't wait to see what it sounds like when we delete that box and our catalytic converter. Acropovic slip-on exhaust, which is going to go right here, but the guys 
at the dealership sold me the wrong connector pipe here. So I ordered one online. It should be here in a day or two. And then we will finish up the exhaust install. The mid pipe deletes this. And this is really heavy. So this is really heavy. This is the, the, the thing that I really wanted to leave, delete off this bike. It's this catalyst or resonator or whatever it is. This weighs eight pounds. The pipe only weighs about one. The acropovic exhaust weighs five pounds. The stock exhaust weighs 10. The stock headers weigh 6.2. The arrow headers weigh four. All in all, deleting all of this takes the exhaust from 24 pounds down to 10. Back putting this 850 GS into adventure ready mode. We have Dana Clearwater fog lights to install or auxiliary lights is what they're called in Europe so they don't have to uh, meet certain rules but they're pretty big I thought they were a little smaller than this it's probably a little overkill for this bike but we're going to put them on anyway if you're taking them off road you got to have crash bars we got upper and lower crash bars Toratec right now though we're going to put the upper crash bars on first then the lower crash bars and these Dana clear water fog lights. After we get all that done, probably take a day or two off and wait for the mid pipe and then we'll have this done. We did just complete the 600 mile service as well. On this 850 GS 911, you can connect to the computer port right there on the bike really easy. Emailed Touratech, they sent me some very helpful instructions. Lower crash bars are kind of set out on the floor. I got all the bolts ready that you need for the lower ones. The lower ones look really easy. I'm gonna do those right now. Should only take a couple minutes. Okay. Then we will install the upper crash bars.
All right, so we got the Touratech crash bars installed, upper and lower crash bars. Uh, upper crash bars were pretty difficult because of this bracket up in there. Kind of hard to see, low light, but it had to take the whole side of the bike off here to get access to that bracket. But that bracket makes these really rigid and secure. And then the other one is mounted to the engine. The lower crash bars were pretty easy. On the GS model, there were just a couple empty holes there and an empty hole there, boom. Filled those in, really easy, connected. This bolt up here was extremely difficult to get. Other than that, over here, add two new bolts and reuse that one. On this side, this is a new bolt, connects to the bracket up front, four bolts under there, and then you actually take the throttle side bolt out and reuse it over on this side. Touratech, excellent product here. Only thing I don't like is this bolt right here doesn't match the colors of the, or the metal of the other bolt. Last thing to do, saw the Dana clear water headlights, fog lights. We got the crash bars tour tech installed. I have one of these Dana clear water fog lights or auxiliary lights. I think they're Dana's, I'm not sure. Darla's, Dana's, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, it's not the smallest one, it's the second one up. So Darla, Dana. So we got Tour Tech crash bars installed, looking great. Upper and lower crash bars. I really like the way the black matches the blue and black on the bike. Clear water, fog lights, auxiliary lights. I got one of them installed here. These things look really nice. They only weigh three and a half pounds probably or so with all the wiring. Here is the other one. I'm gonna get the other one mounted on the other side there. Do a time lapse of that. There is your wire harness to wire all together and after I put the crash back bars back on I had to put this panel back on and it asked you to remove that panel and I'm not going to I have enough of the bolts loose and I'm pretty sure I can slip the wires down in there but you do have to take your top tank cover off again which I had just taken off so there you go lights auxiliary lights step one mount the lights done now we need to wire it so helpful instructions here wiring all right let's wire this up
factory controls to turn the lights on and off. There's your low beam. There's your high beam. All done here. Really happy with the way everything turned out here. Clear water, Krista fog lights there wired into the OEM wire harness. You control it with the toggles on the left side of the handlebar. Touratech, matte blackish, upper and lower crash bars. Really like the way those go on the blue and black. Then you have your aero headers deleting the catalytic converter. Aero mid pipe, which deletes the catalyst. And then your Acropovic exhaust. All right, we got a couple things left to do to the bike, but turning this from a stock GS into an adventure ready GS, we added the Toreg lower and upper crash bars, aero racing headers and mid pipe, the Acropovic exhaust. On the front here, we added the Clearwater Krista fog lights. These are insanely bright. Wired into the OEM wire harness, which is really, really cool. Because then you just use the buttons on the bike to control the fog lights. This is an adventure ready bike now. You can't take these bikes off road without crash bars. The crash bars and the fog lights weighed 15 pounds. The OEM exhaust weighed 25 pounds and this exhaust only weighs 10 pounds. So the bike weighs the same, maybe one pound more, than it does stock with the fog lights, crash bars, and the custom exhaust. So that's what the goal was, to keep the bike as light as possible and make it so you can take it off road drop it and not destroy the sides of the bike and for safety purposes the fog lights parallel twin sounds really cool stock in my opinion it's the coolest sounding bmw stock it has a huge catalyst resonator box right here that weighed eight and a half pounds the stock headers weighed about six or seven pounds and the stock exhaust was really heavy weighed 10 pounds I don't like mixing brands, but Acropovic does not make headers for this bike. So you have the Aero Racing headers and your Acropovic exhaust, which is coming standard on the 2024 900 GS. So like I was saying, I think this is one of the best sounding bikes stock, but it is really loud now. It is nasty loud. It kind of sounds like a Harley almost, but... Like I was saying, it's really loud, but what I like about it, it's kind of raspy and, and rattly down low, but then when you're all out at five, 6,000 RPM, it's not that loud anymore. You hear the motor, doesn't drone you out when you're doing 75, 80 miles an hour nonstop. These are clear water fog lights. I've seen it advertised on BMWs for sale as a, an upgraded feature. These are extremely bright, really, really bright. One of the best things you can do for motorcycle safety is add auxiliary lights. What makes these clear water lights so cool is they are directly wired into the factory wire harness, which means there's no auxiliary wiring. And since there's no auxiliary wiring, there's no buttons. You just use the factory buttons. Lights don't turn on unless the bike is running. Push and hold the turn signal. 
signal for two seconds and that turns the fog lights off. Push and hold for two seconds and that turns them on. That's on low with your low beam. There's high with your high beam. There's a bunch of different settings you can do. I just have it set like that. High beam high and low beam low. And when you flash, I flash as well. Extremely bright. That is too bright for car drivers during the day in my opinion. So I just go like that. When you kill the motor, the lights turn off immediately. And then the um, the OEM lights turn off when you turn the accessory button off.